Hey guys, what's going on? It's Master Joe's Weekly. Oh. Another delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word. Thank goodness for that, because that crap that you pulled last week, my man, no, <laughs> was not. hot. It was entertaining. I'll be honest with you, when I first watched it, I was impressed. I was like, how the hell did those, how, is it, there's two sticky, there's two sticks? And next minute, it was horrible. I cannot believe the mother at home. I just need to clear my ears, I popped it on the intro. That's better. I cannot believe the, the pe viewers at home. Actually, they missed the hose. They, no. All right, number one, I can't believe that they, <laughs> they missed you. Because you are the most annoying f I've ever met. And number two, they think that I fired you from your own company. Yeah, I know. Has happened before. Steve Jobs got fired from Apple. Yeah, well. Do you know that? Yeah, but it's not a, a different company set up and structure, I think. Almost. Almost. Similar. Same thing, but different. This episode of Master Joe's Weekly, where, what number is it? Uh, I'd say. 15? It's got to be in the teens somewhere. The numbers don't really matter. You're getting them on a weekly basis, it's all that matters. When does, got... season two, when does season two begin? We don't have seasons, we just continue the episodes. How do we know if certain people get married? We can't, dude, we can't, we well. can't, we can't even keep track of the episode number, <laughs> let alone the season number. Five topics of discussion for the viewers at home, my man Neve. Hit them off, starting at the top. What are we talking about in episode something teen of Massive Joe's Weekly? I just want to say, I'm thankful that we no longer have to do, we're coming up to FedEx, we're coming up to Generation 9. We got we're Ronnie Coleman in the house. We're actually shooting this. Just, I'm, I'm just about to go and see my man Ronnie Coleman. I'm not. I'm just about to go pick him up from the airport. Mate, I would. In I, the SUPS bus. You're not picking him up. <laughs> <laughs> see, I wish I could go as well, but I have a very sore back. What are we talking about? Yeah, Hurry a, up! I have a sore back from carrying. All right, we're no, talking no, about. I have a we're sore, wrapping up. I have a sore back from carrying this company. Oh, you right. listen to him. So we we're talking about FedEx. We're wrapping up FedEx. We're talking about supplements that don't work. We're talking about protein powders. You get what you pay for. We're talking about training calves. And then finally, we've got a quick update on the viewers at home. There was some stock issues with the MTS and the Defcon one. Yeah. Hit him up, Nee. FedEx wrap up. Make it real quick, man. How'd we go over the weekend? Uh, so FedEx was crazy. So th number one, thank you to everyone that came to say hello to uh, the whole Absolutely, team. Absolutely, crew. Man. We had an overwhelming consumer response, man. We, we I was just... actually surprised that people watch our videos. That was what I was... And a lot of people come and said, like, enjoy your videos. They didn't say it was a good videos, but they said they enjoy them. They enjoy them. Um, that's you. The viewers at home. So I'd like to say thank you for that. I would like to say a massive thank you for, for all of the consumer support we had, man. Completely blew us away. Completely overwhelming. I would go so far as to say we had one of the busiest stands at FedEx. My which is crazy when you think about it. We're just a little old Australian supplement company, man. Little old Adelaide. We're up against some of the biggest supplement companies in the world and our stand kicked the shit out of their stands. So yeah, so no, that was good. Was um, so thank you. So it was very, yeah, it was a busy weekend. Will uh, we be back? Yeah, next year. Bigger? Arnold 2015. Better? Which will be pretty exciting. Yeah, look, we got things we can work on, you and I. We're always, we're always yeah. giving each other construction. If you, reckon we shut, if you reckon we shut it down this year, man, you just wait until next year. A lot year. of things that we're going to improve. Just wait a lot until you next year. A lot of things we're going to uh, improve on and uh, come back bigger and better. And, and we might bring some pretty cool dudes down from, from the America. US. America. So yeah. along with Mark... It's under wraps at the moment. Along man. with Mark Leibliner, but... Yeah. Just, just keep you, you booking it. If I was you, I'd book it in now. Arnold Classic Australia. That's now what it's called. It's not called FedEx anymore. Arnold Classic Australia. It's in March, probably second weekend in March next year. Book it in now, man. Team Massive Joe's gonna shut the shit down. Next well, topic of discussion. You were just on the phone to Mark Lowbiner this morning. I was. Who, not phone an email. Who has said that one of the big international. People, I'm going to say people because I don't want to narrow it down too much. Let's go with is, uh, YouTube celebrities. Is uh, as seen what we've done <coughs> and wants to come next year. Yeah. Boom. And possibly pummel some pushy cats. Well, they're all pushy cats. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> next topic of discussion, man. So protein. Couple, a couple of things. These next two topics really are kind of joined because there are a few things that we came. Uh, that we discussed multiple times in FedEx. The first one is supplements that don't work, and the second one is protein powders you get what you pay for, man. 
isn't it? Yeah. And the first thing is supplements that don't work. I mean, whenever you go to a fitness expo, and us in particular, when we go to fitness experts, and we see like new companies every single year, new products every single year, and you know, some companies come up with some, some good shit, and then other companies just try and, and the, the, deceive the consumer I mean, with just crap that doesn't work. That's, that's one thing from the... And it pisses me off. Every time I see it, every expo I go to, it pisses me off. I see some of these products, man, and I go up to the booth and I start asking the people about, like, seriously, you actually think that this product is going to help someone reach their goals? And it's just marketing bullshit. One thing that we do pride ourselves on here is not selling shit. Crap. Not Dude. selling, not oh, selling and that, shit. And also not selling, in a bottle. And also selling things to people that they don't need. Yeah, that's the other thing. So man. people come in and say, okay, they might be. <clears> I just put it out there here, like say they, they want to do one thing, and then they say, oh, what about taking eradicate to lose yeah. weight? Yeah. Well, no, eradicate is not going to help you. Lose oh, weight. pushy cat comes in wants to take super test. Yeah, we've had that a few times. You've it's got, just weird, man. Things, but there's better things that people can spend their uh, no, Okay, things will help, but there's better things that people can spend their money on. That yeah, will and one, far greater well. one of the big things for us is fat burning protein powders, which are just a complete crock of shit. Mm. You can't, you can't. There's no, you can't have a protein powder that's going to help you burn fat. It's just bullshit, and it pisses me off. At every expo, there's a new company with a new fat burning protein powder. For real, isn't it? And it just it just pisses me off. So I think what we're trying to say is, as a consumer, man, just beware and do your research and be careful and research. And this isn't none of that. F Go to the companies and ask them if you've got a fat burning protein powder. How are you saying it works? Or if you've got a, a, a cream that you rub into parts of your body that increases testosterone and nitric oxide production, how does it actually work? Well, how can and I, get how answers. Can I, how can I spray this spray on my arms and get more biceps? More biceps. Or how is this protein going to target my biceps rather than any, any other muscle group? Um, I mean, so come on, man. Be you? smart as a consumer. Ask questions, research ingredients. And if it looks too good to be true, man, most of the time, that shit's too good to be true. True. Ain't that the truth? I was going to say something about it. And then the next one is protein powders, man. You get what you pay for. We had because we had a, um, a bunch of people come to the massive Joe stand at FitX, mm. and we were talking about prices of different protein powders. And generally speaking, if you go for a brand that has a good reputation, and you pick say their everyday protein powder, you're generally going to be paying a very similar price for that protein powder. So I mean, going to like Elite Way, you often like Don't Pass Elite Way, ON 100% Way. MTS, Cytec, Machine Way, Cytec Way. MTS, they're going to be roughly 90 to 100. 90 Australian to 100 bucks dollars, Australian for five pounds. And then we had people coming up to us and they're like, yeah, but we can buy certain proteins. And I had one, the, probably the most far out example was a guy came up to me and he said that he was buying 10 kilos of protein powder for 150 bucks. That's 22 pounds. Austra Australian dollars. Mm. 10 kilos for, yeah, for, a hundred, for 150 bucks. And I was actually, still, I was there with Mark Lobliner at the time and Mark was like, man, to be completely honest with you, and Mark obviously knows a lot more about the manufacturing side of the industry than, than we do, you know, right back to, to uh, the, milk, the milk industry, which is where whey protein comes from. And he said to the guy, he said, man, if you're paying that much for protein powder, I guarantee you, you're not buying protein powder. You might be buying 10% protein mixed with 90% carbs and they're lying to you on the label, man, but it's not protein powder. Shit. And I think that's just the... I'm, the I'm, I'm staring at a letterbox out there, mate, waiting for the, the lawsuits rolling in. Mate, I don't, I don't give a single f man. Seriously. If, if there's, I, the, the one thing that pisses me off in this industry is misleading consumers. Mm -hmm. That's the whole reason we started this bitch in the first place. That's the whole reason we started Massive Joe's was because of people misleading consumers. So if, it, you know, if a product it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Research the ingredients. If the price of a product, especially protein powders, man, protein powders in the supplement industry is the most competitive segment of the industry. Right, you can't, there's, there's, it's impossible to squeeze any more dollars out of that. So if you're buying 10 kilos of protein powder for 150 bucks, come on, man. Yeah. You're being misled. Yeah, to be fair. You're being misled, I guarantee you. I, in fact, I challenge you to take, if, you, if you're one of those people, get that protein, man, go get it tested. Nobody's gonna pay to get it tested. No, well, why not? As a consumer, man. Out the protein, well, this is, <laughs> this is probably not going to get tested. But as a consumer, man, just to round off, be careful. Don't go full <laughs> potato. Don't go 
Full retard. Oh, my. That's what it's all about. All right. Next That's topic fine. of discussion, Neve. Uh, you get hit up. So, there's a lot of questions that hit up at FedEx, but you want, people want to know how you built your car volts. And I ask you as well, man, about because yeah. your cars have come a, come a long a long way. Our cars have come up a bit. There's, so tell the viewers how we how we build cars, man. Well, you how we train I, cars. Uh, so we split our leg day into two days. So quads and glutes <laughs> on generally a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, weekends. And then you and I hit you hit them. Weekend so game. Me and Jez hit quads and glutes together. But then you and I hit car, Hamids and cars together. Mm. We generally will hit. Three to four calf exercises and three to four hammy exercises. Sometimes even more calf. Sometimes yeah. we go like five to six calves. And we always hit calves first. The shit out of them. Always bitches. hit calves first. You and I generally have quite good hamstrings from our deadlifting and your you from your squatting. Yeah. So we target our calves first for say an hour. Just mm. smash the f- calves. Yeah. High reps, low reps. Um, train heavy. them. I think the key is, man, train them like any other muscle group. Yeah. A lot of people will throw calves on the end of a leg workout. Three sets of twelve of standing calf raises, and that's it. And you then they wonder why their calves I mean, don't grow. If people, that's like you just go to the gym and just doing walking in, doing three sets of twelve on flat bench and walking out, wondering why why your chest. That's it. And people yeah. do seven different chests. They do incline fly, dumbbell fly, flat Presses, bench, dumbbell cable bench, crossovers, incline bench, dips, cable crossovers, serratus pullovers. I mean, look, they, they've just gone on seven exercises. And then they'll start making up exercises where they get like the. Bar from the bottom and start pushing and yeah. go. Yeah, man, I'm trying. I'm I'm hitting the, the straight. I don't know what the. F- and then, uh, so they're doing that, and then they're going to do cars, do three to twelve. Oh, <laughs> I've just got bad genetics. Yeah, my cars. genetics suck. That's All right, I'm, 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 I'm not. I got them white. I'm not genetics. a proud enough per. I don't know what the f- thing is. But I'll admit, I used, I was used that excuse. I said no. Nah. You did. I said no. Nah, I got bad genetics, Joe. My grandpa's got small cars. Yeah. I'm destined to have small cars. White boy genetics, man. Train he started Joe. training with me, who was the whitest of all the white boys. Yeah, Pol- Polish. <laughs> <laughs> and we started training properly, man. You got to train calves like any other muscle group, which means you go to the gym, you do four to six exercises. For each of those exercises, you're doing yourself three to four working sets, and for each of those working sets, you're doing anywhere between six to fifteen reps, man. And plus train the shit out of them. And do intensifying techniques. Plus we're doing drop sets. Drop rest sets. Pause, rest pause. Partials. Supersets. Partial reps. Top half partial. One and a half. Man, all kinds of shit. Just train them like any other muscle group. I wish and we got on video the other day. I was standing there and it was the last exercise. We were doing... That's um, our next in the gym. Well, we're going to shoot an in the gym tonight with Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. And then our next in the gym is going to be a calf workout. So we were doing... And if you don't have an interest in, in growing calves, it's going to be boring as f- so we were doing our last exercise. We we're doing toe press on the calf, on the leg, toe press on the leg machine. Your legs were shaking. Press. Man. I was saying that my legs couldn't stop shaking. My calves were shaking. Yeah, shit's cray. Yeah. Anyway, that's how you build calves. Last topic of discussion, Neve. Stock update. Start with DefCon. Empty. Because if I get another phone call about it today, what my you, head's going to explode. What are you talking about? You don't answer the. I get personal calls. No, you don't. I don't even know where people get my mobile hey, number. Your mum calls. And they call you. me. Your mum calling you. Yeah, that's Joe. one. Where's DEFCON 1? <laughs> and then uh, I get all kinds of calls. Um, anyway, Joe doesn't get Facebook calls. messages. I'm, customers they coming they in asking they don't about even it. even message you. Literally, you know, you know, I've been hit up today, and this is without answering the phone at Massive Joe's, seven times, mate. And I've been. Seven. Three customers. Two Facebook messages, two phone calls. So I've been hit up by emails daily, hit up phone calls daily. Jack will answer the phone. So where is it? Tell them! Nobody f- knows. <laughs> <laughs> Our friends at Platinum Labs, Matt Bullet Low and Terry Push Cats. Terry Pushy Cats told me it was getting cleared from customs last Wednesday. It would be at FedEx Thursday. Brought Didn't it up happen. to FedEx. No doubt. Distinct con. lack of DEFCON on there. Okay, so the, the situation is it's sitting in customs at the moment. Massive Joe's will be the first retailer in Australia to get it. Literally, as soon as it clears customs, we are getting a phone call and we are putting the pre-sale up on the website that second. Wow. It's ready to go. Jack just needs, our business development manager, Jack just needs to log into the back end of massivejoes.com, click publish on that bitch, pre-sale starts. So we're gonna have a thousand units sitting in the warehouse. Well, no, we're actually going to sell a thousand. We could come into the warehouse and get the out the warehouse straight up. Yeah. So we'll anyway, that's Defcon One. So we're expecting could be today, could be tomorrow, could be Saturday, Sunday, could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's soon. Let's say within the next seven days. All right. So this and, depends when customs get their shit together. Yeah. And MTS, MTS. the last topic right, so, of discussion. So we put aside 
a fair f like 10 boxes of vanilla MTS whey and we put aside 10 boxes of chocolate MTS whey. We sent that to FedEx, yeah. sold a fair bit of it, whatever we didn't sell. We got some bits and pieces. It's on its way back. As well, we got Clash and Machine Fuel delivered to FedEx, straight to FedEx. Yeah. So that's on its way back now. Very few units. So we're going to have Machine Way, yep. a few vanilla, some chocolate, yep. Clash yep. and Machine Fuel. Yep. Uh, it should be here tomorrow. Should be here tomorrow. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put it on Facebook and Instagram. We're going to let you guys know ahead of time what time it's going to go live on the website, right? And then, because we've got very limited units, man, you're going to have to hop on the website at that time and be one of the first people to buy it, man. If you get it, you get it. Fantastic. If you don't, the next shipment of MTS Way is eight weeks away, man. So, yeah, so it's not going to be here for eight you, weeks. Clash is about four weeks away. Uh, machine fuel we've still got in stock, so we should be all right with that. And on, and on the next shipment, we'll also be having... Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, Macrolution. Macrolution, which is a mural placement yeah. by MTS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, uh, and, and, and MTS Way and Cookies and Cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Shit. the MTS Greens and Multi Formula in and, the apple flavor. And I'm, well, I'm, and, ex I'm, actually, and, I'm legitimately excited about that Greens product, man. That's just going to blow up. Machine fuel in 90 serves. 95 serves. 94. And what's the retail price going to be? 90 bucks, mate. Revolutionizing. <laughs> Intra workout. 95 serves for 90 95 bucks. 95 serves for 90 bucks, man. Get the f out of here with that. Bum. That's going to be epic. You got anything else you want to add, Neve, before we wrap this up? Um, no. I got one thing I got to add. What? I, I might. Uh, can I say it? It's going to happen pretty soon, so I may as well say it as well. I may as well just drop a little, a little uh, hint for the viewers at home. When you and I were in the US last year doing our uh, uh, tour de force. Yeah collaborating with all the YouTube channels. We happen to collaborate with uh, some of the top guys, of course, my man, Michael O'Bliner, my man, the Hodge Twins, my brother in iron, Big J. Chris Jones, isn't he coming to a Chris Australia? Jones. Isn't Chris Jones? You know who it is? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, Chris Jones. Okay. If you watch his videos, you know what I just did then. If you don't watch his videos, I probably look like a complete idiot. Isn't he going to be at the uh, Massive Joe stand next year? He might be at the Massive Joe stand, oh. but, 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 but he does happen to be releasing a pre-workout supplement uh, next week. Maybe the week after. Who got the rights for it? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh shit. Maybe you might be finding out soon. <laughs> Guys, that is Massive Joe's weekly word. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Try it again. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Work. We don't even know what number it is. No one gives a single f Guys, that is Massive Joe's Weekly Word, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. I'm off to see Ronnie Coleman. It's my birthday tomorrow, fellas. I'll catch please. you guys next week. Fellas and pushy cats, it's my birthday tomorrow. Peace. It's my birthday tomorrow. It means I get to drive Joe's Audi, because the insurance takes effect. <laughs>